SpaceX is racing against time to finish its gigantic Starship. As it stands, many things still have to fall into place before SpaceX can declare it ready. However, the Starship has entered advanced stages and it has been exciting to follow its progress from the tiny Starhopper prototype to the hulking, steel-made Starship 2.0. Despite still working on the Starship, there is already talk about the next version of the Starship. Join us as we explore the crazy Starship 2.0 that Musk is talking about. Anybody with access to YouTube and interest in SpaceX's work in Boca Chica knows about the Starship. It is the tallest rocket ever built, standing at 120 meters when both stages are stacked together. That is as tall as five and a half White Houses stacked on top of one another, or more than double the height of the Space Shuttle. Also, it is taller than the Statue of Liberty. The booster or lower stage of Super Heavy accounts for 70 meters, while the upper stage of the Starship is 50 meters tall. Both stages have a diameter of 9 meters. This spacecraft is a sight to behold on SpaceX's production facility in Texas. This is a ship designed to transport 100 people at a time over a large expanse of space for several months, so it has to be huge. The Starship does not amaze only in size, as it is the most powerful rocket ever built. It can lift more than 100 tons of payload to low Earth orbit. The Super Heavy carries 3,400 tons of fuel and produces an insane 72 meganewtons of thrust, thanks to its collection of more than 30 Raptor engines that SpaceX made in-house. After separating from the lower stage, the Starship carries 1,200 tons of fuel to burn on its voyages with a payload capacity of over 100 tons. The high capacity is needed because Musk wants to use it to take people to Mars to live there permanently. There will be plenty of cargo to transport before the colonizers can survive on the planet, hence Musk is building the Starship for the task. Apart from traveling between planets, the US military also wants to use it to transport massive cargo here on Earth, so the Starship has to be powerful. The military reckons the movement would be faster using point-to-point -point travel. If it goes well, the Starship could even be used to transport personnel. To function as both a cargo and human transporter, SpaceX will make different configurations of the Starship. America's NASA is also buying into Musk's dream as the agency will use the crew transport version of the Starship to land its astronauts on the Moon's surface. This will cost NASA not less than $2.9 billion, although Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin is standing in the way with lawsuits challenging NASA's contract to SpaceX. However, the pending court case is not stopping or slowing down SpaceX's work on its Starship. The space exploration company is well-funded and can attract funds from investors any time it needs money. SpaceX is now testing the Starship 20 prototype, which will be used for the first orbital test flight. This maiden flight is one of the most anticipated events in the space travel industry and could happen before the end of this year if SpaceX can get all the necessary approvals. Despite the complexity and raw power of the Starship, both stages are reusable, meaning they will fly multiple times. This reusability is crucial to Musk's plan to transform space travel by making it affordable to humanity. Musk envisions a future where you can sell your house on a whim and use the fun to start all over on Mars. Making the Starship more advanced, both the Super Heavy and the Starship, when they return to the Earth, can land on their legs or be caught mid-air by a pair of arms on the launch tower. The arms are named Mechazilla, and Musk admitted the idea was lifted from the Karate Kid film. The booster could also land on one of SpaceX's drone ships out on the sea. Seeing how massive, powerful, and advanced the Starship is, you might wonder how Musk can make it better. But this is precisely what he plans to do with the Starship 2.0, make it even bigger and more powerful. It is no secret Musk is a dreamer, and it is no secret he will try to make his dream come true. As an outspoken CEO that regularly connects with his fans on social media, Musk has given a sneak peek of the Starship 2.0. In a now-deleted tweet on Twitter, a SpaceX fan asked what would be the size of the next version, and Musk replied it would probably be 18 meters in diameter. That would be double the diameter of the current prototype, even its original diameter. The initial design of the Starship specified a 12-meter diameter back when it was known as the Interplanetary Transport System, but SpaceX had to scale it down to 9 meters. Interestingly, from the diameter of the Starship 2.0, as revealed by Musk, we can work out what the spacecraft would look like. Let's dig in. If you double the diameter of a circle, you would have quadrupled the surface area. Assuming the height is also doubled, then the total surface area of the Starship 2.0 will be eight times that of the original version. But that is not the only mind-blowing part. 
With both the diameter and height doubled, we will end up with eight times the propellant volume, meaning Starship 2.0 will be eight times heavier. That means Musk needs eight times more thrust to blast it to orbit. If we assume Starship 2.0 will have the same fineness ratio, that is height to weight ratio as the original Starship, the Starship 2.0 will come in at a terrifying 236 meters. This would be double the height of the Saturn V. The Starship 2.0 would also be the widest rocket ever built. The Saturn V's SIC first stage measured 10 meters wide, while the Soviet Union's N1 Block A first stage measured about 17 meters in diameter at its widest point. Starship 2.0 beat both of them with an 18-meter diameter. Starship 2.0's gross mass, that is, with fuel, will be about 40,000 tons or 90 million pounds at these assumed dimensions. Assuming SpaceX uses the same Raptor rocket engines to power Starship 2.0, the booster alone will require more than 100 Raptors just to lift off. For comparison, if SpaceX were to use the most powerful single-chamber rocket engine, the Saturn V's F1, Starship 2.0 will need at least 60 of them. But of course, nothing says SpaceX cannot make rocket engines that are more powerful than the Raptors, which will reduce the number of rocket engines needed. Musk, however, won't build a more powerful Starship 2.0 just for the sake of building. The new Starship will help him achieve his lifelong ambition. With a more powerful Starship, the number of trips the Starship will make before humans can stay on Mars permanently will be reduced because there will be room for more cargo. Likewise, the Starship will take more people per trip. Using the eight times more volume, the Starship 2.0 could take eight times more people, which would be about 800 intrepid travelers. Or Musk could carry fewer people per trip for more comfort. Musk has calculated he needs at least a million colonizers to make the Mars community self-sustaining. With more room on Starship 2.0, Musk will reach his goal faster. It is worth noting that Musk will have to fix many engineering problems to have a rocket as huge and powerful as the Starship 2.0 could be. Most of the support infrastructure for the current Starship will need serious upgrades to handle the Starship 2.0. When will SpaceX start building the Starship 2.0? We don't know yet, but logically it will begin after version 1 is completed. Musk has promised Starship version 1 would be ready in time for NASA's planned Project Artemis mission in 2024, although that might sound too optimistic. Even NASA is hinting the mission could be delayed by its astronaut spacesuit, which is undergoing a redesign. NASA is sending a female astronaut this time. At any rate, the spacesuits are due for a refresh. However, if Musk's promise holds, active development of the Starship 2.0 might just be a couple of years away, and we will surely hear more about it in the coming years. That is not to say design work on the Starship 2.0 cannot go in tandem with the work on version 1. Let us know what you think of Musk's insane Starship 2.0 in the comments.